Oh, we're on I'm sorry. I'm trying to watch and uh, Coach LaTemplio get her ball people sorted out. So, <laughs> welcome viewers to Hometown Cable's presentation of Northern Soccer League Girls Varsity Action. This, this is, oh, I'm sorry. It's no, no longer the Northern Soccer League. Section 7, Class B semifinal game coming to you from the hallowed grounds of George Brimler Field here in Shazy, New York on this. Friday evening, uh, October 26, 2012. <coughs> the uh, Cougars in their uh, Northeastern Clinton Cougars in their home white jerseys are uh, posted up against the uh, Chiefs of Saranac Central School in their away red jerseys. This is uh, again the Section 7 Class B semifinal. The uh, Winner of this contest to meet the Hornets of Plattsburgh High and upset winner over the number one seed uh, Beekman Town Eagles in a game played earlier on this pitch in uh, next Friday's uh, Section 7 Class B final. So we're just on our way here at, once again at the George Brindler Field in Shazy, New York. Cougars with the uh, early possession. This is uh, Mallory Honan on the far side. Sends it back for... Uh, um, Hebert pushes one into the box. Roush and uh, Favreau collide with the ball, but Favreau is uh, able to stay uh, stay concentrated on the ball and scoops it up. Um, Jamie Favreau is the uh, keeper for the uh, Chiefs. And this ball is sent out to midfield and goes out of bounds. So the Chiefs will now have the uh, offensive advantage. list the names and put my glasses on. Here's an opportunity. This is um, a ball that's sent inside. It's knocked away by the Cougar defense. This is Jenna LaValle taking it down the left side. Pushes one long for uh, Matat. Matat gives chase, but it's chased down there by uh, number 25 is uh, Miranda Marnes on the back line for the, for the Chiefs. Matat steals the ball, pushes it wide for uh, Honan. Honan's got some speed, tries to get it past uh, Gillespie on the uh, right side, goes out of bounds, and the Cougars throw in quickly. Matat once again pushes it back, but uh, Napper is there to steal that one. And she sends it forward, but it goes out of bounds. This is the uh, third time that these two uh, teams have matched up this year, which is not uncommon for Class B teams as they play each other twice during the uh, regular season. The uh, Cougars won both of those uh, previous matchups. But the uh, Saranac Chiefs are always tough any time of the year, any sport. <laughs> There's a ball that's pushed back, but sent to the back line. McDonough is there, and she turns around, puts it into uh, into the middle. Goes all the way back to uh, number 19 is Brooke Leahy on the left side of the defense. But Honan comes away with it, sends a long ball in for Matat. Matat is at the top of the 18, sends a nice ball across, and Tucker has a shot. Oh, it goes off the post. Maddie Tucker with a great A scoring opportunity here with uh, less than four minutes gone here in the first half. and. Tucker just glances one off the post, uh, went to the near side, and uh, definitely had Favreau beat on that one, but caught the uh, caught the uh, the inside post and uh, ricocheted out. Actually, we, looks like we got some kind of a call on the play, so had it had it gone in, it may not have count either way. So did not hear that whistle, but anyway, this ball gets stolen by uh, Hebert, sent forward Matat once again. Gets her foot on the ball, but it's taken away. Cougars have uh, definitely controlled the play so far here in the first four minutes of the uh, first half. Here's Honan battling for it and goes out of bounds. Officials for uh, tonight's contest, we have uh, Mr. Tom Kowalowski in the middle as the, uh, as the referee and our uh, linesmen are uh, uh, Randy Lozier and uh, Gary Kaiser. 
So once again, the uh, Cougars able to uh, keep the ball in the attacking end. He's the one that gets sent over the uh, midfield stripe, but McDonough's the first one there. She overruns the ball, and uh, that's Cartier comes to the rescue, but the Chiefs maintain and uh, now attempt to organize. There's Amelia Jenks sends a ball in, but Bowman's a little slow getting there. Tucker's the first one to it. Tucker pushes it wide. Bowman challenges her. Ball goes out of bounds. It's going to stay with the Chiefs. And that one's also going to stay with the Chiefs. 17 is uh, Emily Le Templio, and that ball goes out of bounds, so it'll be a corner kick. First uh, offensive set piece for the, uh, the Chiefs. Le Templio will take the kick. And that ball comes out to the middle of the box. One timed by uh, Chief Player and a great defensive play by Ali Cartier on the uh, on the post to knock that one away. That was a uh, excellent scoring opportunity for the Chiefs to come down at this end and uh, have that uh, player one time that uh, that corner kick attempt and uh, it's a good thing that. Um, that Ali Cartier was playing her position on that post to take away that sure goal. So uh, Roush turns on this one and pushes one long. And that's uh, number eight is um, Lena Menia clears that one out and it'll be a throw in for the Cougars. I'll try not to stand in your line of fire. People like looking at you, Joe. <laughs> uh, I don't know about the back of my head after working all day and toiling at the uh, salt mines, as it were. Here's Bowman sends one forward, but Cartier is the first one to it. Here's Hebert. She switches fields, pushes one wide, but that's going to go out of bounds before anybody can get to it. So it'll be a cheap throw in. We've got seven minutes gone in the uh, in the first half. Both teams with uh, early scoring opportunities. Cougars with the uh, definitely uh, advantage in possession, but uh, Chiefs can uh, equal them on the uh, on the Grade A scoring opportunity tally sheet. Here's Honan. She puts one in the center. Lavalley has it. Pushes it by one defender. Takes it into a crowd. Matat overruns the ball. And now it's sent back. And Chiefs advance it. This is Knapper on the left side. Coming down. She's got Jenks in the middle. Pushes it by one defender. And now it's pushed out to the corner of the 18. But skips over the foot. Now here's Johnston is going to get a shot off and Christina Paola who's in goal for the Cougars tonight will uh, watch that one go over the end line. So uh, Cougars left uh, Johnston unmarked about 30 yards out and uh, she was able to get a shot on goal but it, <coughs> it was wide. Here's Roush battling hard. That one gets broken up by Matat. And once again, the Chiefs maintain. Ball goes out of bounds. Another Chief throw in. This is Tiana LeDuc. Shields this one out. It will be a throw in. Donna turns on this one, sends it midfield for Matat. Matat and Honan working on it. But this goes into the middle, and Gillespie sends it back up to the 18. But uh, Cartier makes a nice job there. And here, uh, Lavalle and Matat gang up on that one, but Matat sends it out. And didn't get enough, quite enough mustard on it to get it over to uh, Honan. She might have been better off to uh, tap that one and, and 
keep that for herself. Here's an opportunity for Jenks in the box. McCartier steps in front of that one. Here's a blast from quite a ways out, and uh, that'll one hop back to Paola, and she'll scoop that one up. That one kind of slices out the side of her foot. And, and this one's sent to the back line, but Gillespie's there. Here's Tucker in the midfield. And she tries to get it to one of her strikers, but that one's intercepted. Bowman once again. And Matat gets, or uh, Roush gets that one. Here's Matat with some space. She takes it down the middle. Looking for some somebody to pass to. Chips one over, but Gillespie is there. Gets a knee on it and sends it back the other way. And here's Roush. She's going to poke one into the box. Lavalley was offside for sure. And she gets a whistle for that one. The uh, chief defense pulled her offside, and uh, Lavalley wasn't aware of the uh, positioning of the defense and found herself in an offside position, although it was a nice ball by Molly Roush to, uh, to put that ball where it needed to be. Lavalley just needed to be a little bit more aware of where the defense was. This one is tossed over the head. Hebert is there, tries to get it into the center, but it's intercepted by Latemplio. Roush breaks that one up. And this one comes into the into the middle. Gillespie gets a foot on it. Latemplio sends it up the middle, but uh, Leduc is there. Lavalley steps up. And she tries to get one for Matat, but it's broken up. Here's Bowman. She goes down. And uh, Cartier makes that play. Here's Matat once again. She overruns the ball, sends it wide for Lavalley. Lavalley's got some space down the left side. And she gets a cross in the box, but it's defended there. Tucker ends up with it. Roush turns it, sends it cross field for Honan. Honan's going to be the first one to it. She and Gillespie are uh, closing in on the ball. Honan will turn and send it back out. Kristen Knapper is there and taps it out of bounds for a uh, Cougar throw in. And we get a substitution. We get about 27.45 to go here in the first half. Still no score in this Section 7 Class B semifinal match. Nice throw into the box. Roush gets a foot on it. One hops back to uh, Favreau and she scoops that one up. And we'll get the Chiefs restarted back the other way. This one comes back for Cartier. Cartier pushes it wide. Lavalley makes tries to uh, <coughs> get it past uh, Leahy and does. Matat trying to get to it. Marnes is there and she sends it back up. Hebert for Roush. Roush pushes it by Cartier. Cartier was a little surprised about it. And there's a ball that gets sent into a uh, open wing where uh, Kayla Napper runs onto it and uh, pushes it a little bit long. No uh, support over there and that's going to go out of bounds and it'll be a Cougar throw in. She may have rushed that uh, just a little bit. She had quite a bit of space on the left side and uh, all kinds of potential, but kicked it a little bit too far and it rolled out of bounds. <coughs> Coach Latemplio will go to the bench and send in three subs. Here's Roush intercepts the ball at midfield, but Marnes pushes one back and it gets sent forward. Leduc steps up, makes a nice play there, sends a long ball, but Gillespie <coughs> makes a nice defensive play there, and the uh, Cougars are in business here at uh, midfield, but Dubois can't handle the uh, 
the return pass, and the Chiefs will get it back on the throw-in. Cartier steps up, and a couple players go down, and that's going to go against the Chiefs, so it'll be a free kick for the Cougars, just on their side of midfield. With about 25 minutes to go here in the first half. Roush puts the ball in play. Latemplio picks it off. Sends it over for Jenks, but uh, was behind her. Tucker makes a nice pass wide for Honan. Honan pushes it a little bit too far forward, and the ball goes out of bounds. It's going to stay with the Cougars. Uh, nope, we got a uh, foul on the play, so... Chiefs will have the free kick. <laughs> Hebert sends the ball in the middle. This is Matat. Matat wins that battle and tries to get one over in the middle for Lavalley, but it was defended there by Gillespie. Honan will try the same thing. This one comes through and it's knocked away there by a Chief defender. Roush comes up with the long, with the loose ball, sends it wide for Tucker. Tucker down the left side, pushes it by uh, a new entrant in the game is uh, Lindsey Harris. And as they battle for it down in the corner, goodness gracious only knows what's going on. And yeah, that one's kicked out of bounds for a for a corner kick. Uh, apparently Kelly. <laughs> we know it was Kelly. Yeah, Kelly Drolette, another one of the uh, entrants into the uh, contest. Molly Roush will take the uh, the corner kick. Puts a nice ball in the center. Favreau can't quite handle it. Ball is loose, and it's kicked out. Goes behind Tucker, and here come the uh, Chiefs with an opportunity. Push one up for Jenks. Jenks pushes it out in the middle. She's got Napper with her. Here's a good opportunity for the Chiefs as Jenks... Uh, Runs by, but Cougar defense comes back and covers up. So Michaela McDonough came back and uh, cut that thread off, but the uh, Chiefs organized very well off that corner kick. Pushed out very, very, very quickly and uh, got a uh, two-man pass game going on at the uh, at the attack and got, got by the first line of defense, but uh, the speed of Michaela McDonough came back and uh, cut that play off before it developed into anything that was serious. All right, Cougars get things going, goes through the legs of uh, Tucker, and this one's pushed wide. Here's Jenks, Jenks, and Cartier battling for it. Tucker gets it away from him, pushes it back, and uh, gets knocked over the pitch line, and it'll be a throw in for the Chiefs. 22-15 to go here in the uh, first half, and again, the uh, throw in goes to the back line, and it goes out of bounds, so it'll be a goal kick for the uh, Cougars. All right. Once again, the Chiefs uh, possessing the ball. Set it left side. And a couple of the Cougar defenders converge on that one and goes out of bounds. So it'll, it'll be a Cougar throw in. Um, a couple of subs come in for the... Uh, for the Cougars, we've got number five is uh, Taylor Rabideau, and uh, she's in for the first time. And uh, number 11, Celine Bouvier, back in the contest for uh, Coach Superna. This one's pushed forward, but cut off by Cartier, and come back the other way. Tucker comes back and sends a ball past the defense. Matat streaking for it, but plays a mistake by uh, Kelly Drolette, and that one goes off of... That one goes off of a uh, defender, so it'll be another corner kick for the Cougars. 20 minutes and 25 seconds to play here in the first half. 
Cougars with their uh, second corner kick. Once again, Roush will take this kick. The last one came inside the uh, six, and uh, Favreau had a little bit hard time with it. This one's a little bit deeper. Honan gets, tries to get a turn on it, but can't. Comes back for Leduc. Leduc with an opportunity to push it back in. The, uh, the Chiefs are pretty good at uh, pushing out after these uh, after these restart after the uh, uh, failed corner kick, and now here's uh, Bouvier wins that battle, gets it in the front for Matat, but Matat can't get it past the defense. Tucker sends one wide for uh, Rabidou. Rabidou with some space pushes one down in the corner for Matat. Matat's first one there. She's working with uh, against uh, Myers. Ball goes out of bounds, and it'll be a throw in for the Cougars. I believe. And this one gets sent into the box. Honan's there, but it goes past her. Matat tries to come in, but uh, Gillespie makes a nice defensive play there. And it goes over the uh, line for a throw in for the Cougars. Here's Matat once again. Doesn't quite get a good trap on it, and it's going to go over the line, and uh, we'll have a uh, goal kick. Coach Latemplio puts her starters back in after giving them a four or five minute breather. All right, this ball given up to uh, Napper. And Napper pushes it down the left side. Still has the possession. She's working against uh, McDonough there. Makes a nice move. We'll send this ball into the box. And uh, the shot was on frame. But Paola knocked it down. Not able to uh, corral it completely. But certainly kept it out of the, uh, out of the net. So dangerous play by uh, Kayla Napper to bring that ball all by herself down the left side. And uh, get a great shot on goal and uh, results in a corner kick. Here's the ball. It's sent into the box. It's knocked down by Roush, but it's going to go out of bounds, so they'll get, a, get to try it all over again. Just under 18 minutes to play here in the first half. Still no score. The uh, shots on goal, according to the score, scoreboard, are uh, identical. And here's a ball that's sent out by Roush. Honan lets it go by her, and Gillespie had it played pretty decent and uh, knocked it out of bounds, give her uh, her teammates a chance to come back and regroup. Actually, uh, looks like it was last touched by the Cougars, so the Chiefs will have the throw in. And this one's pushed forward. Once again, Gillespie will uh, knock the ball out of bounds. And again, you see a uh, repeating theme here at Calvin. What? Oh my God. Yeah, she's trying to stand up and uh, she got her hands up like this, like I'm not playing the ball. And she's trying to stand up and uh, she gets called for a dangerous play. I, I don't think she was playing the ball. She was trying to stand up. Either way, we're not going to well, commit. In a dangerous situation, I guess. Right, but she's doing her best to get out of the way. Uh, I don't know about, I think, I'll just call it an unwarranted whistle. All right, so here's uh, Honan with the ball. She's going to send one long from the top. Leahy is the uh, first one to it. Knocks it out of bounds. So once again, Cougars with the uh, advantage. Possession advantage anyway. Here's Matat once again. She sends it back for uh, Bouvier. Bouvier has it come off the side of her foot. And uh, presents, presents a little bit of an opportunity for There's a nice push ball, ball push through. And Matat's going to get a shot on goal. Favreau makes a nice stop there. A diving stop to her right. Knocks the ball down, so after Bouvier kind of shanked that uh, pass, was able to come back and redeem herself and uh, put a nice ball through for uh, Matat, who got a decent shot on goal from about 15 yards out. And 
really tested Favreau on that one, and uh, Favreau was up to the test. So uh, another decent scoring opportunity for the Cougars. And uh, we have 15-15 uh, to go here in the first half. This one, uh, it's down to the back line. Tucker watches it go over her head. She has uh, Bowman pestering her. Tucker still has it. Ball goes out of bounds. It'll be a chief throw in. Here's a nice ball that's set inside, but uh, Roush is there. Here's Rabideau. Pushes one past Leahy. Still has the ball. Sends a nice ball for Matat, but it's going to go all the way back. And uh, that's uh, many is going to play it forward. Roush. And she sends one forward. Again, this one goes this one goes by uh, Marnes and puts it back for Minia, who sends it back up in the center. There's Johnston. Gives it for Le Templio. Le Templio sends it back for Marnes. Marnes pushes it forward. That one goes over the head of LeDuc. But uh, McDonough gives chase, and she gets to it first. Jenks is on her. McDenna tur turns it back inside. Jenks steals the ball, sends it out for uh, Napper. Napper, here's Le Templio. She's dangerous from out there. Gets a shot on goal, but it goes right to uh, Paola, who knocks the ball down and has to do a spinorama job to find out where it is and picks it up before it goes over the goal line. Amy Le Templio's got the uh, dangerous foot from outside the box, and uh, the Cougars sh should not be uh, setting her up outside the box or anywhere, to be honest with you. She's got a good foot. There's a nice uh, play by Roush to break that up. Matat sets up Rabideau. Rabideau pushes one into the middle. It gets missed by uh, one defender. Then it goes off the foot of Gillespie. Here's Honan giving chase. She's going to put a shot on it, and it's going to go out of bounds and result in a corner kick. Thirteen ten to uh, go here in the first half, and... Uh, Cougars with their fourth corner kick of the uh, first half. This time, this time Honan will take the kick against the wind. And that one comes into the box. It's played out. Bouvier sends it back in, but Chiefs intercept that. Here's Hebert. She's going to push one through. That one's going to roll just a little bit too long and go over the end line, and that'll... That will be a goal kick. Number 18, uh, Kelly Drolette checks back into the contest for the Chiefs to give Miranda Marnes a breather. 12.20 to go in the first half. LeDuc picks off the uh, goal kick, sends it forward, but Gillespie steps up, makes a nice play there, sends a long ball down. McDonough is the first one to it, and she pushes it up for Tucker. Tucker, LaValle, LaValle has a nice play there by Leahy to take it away from her. Here's Bowman, and that ball goes out of bounds. There's a nice throw, goes over the head. Roush is going to push one wide for Honan. Honan's going to pick it up at the corner of the box. She's got Gillespie on her. Pushes it down to the end line. Gillespie makes a nice play there, and that's going to be a corner kick for the Cougars. So the Cougars, once again, with a uh, set-piece opportunity here. We're 11 minutes away from halftime. Territorial edge definitely uh, going in favor of the Cougars, but the uh, shots on goal are uh, pretty even at this point. Grade A scoring opportunities on my sheet are just about even. There's a nice ball that's headed into the box, but uh, once again, the Chiefs defense comes up. Here's Cartier. He's going to get a shot on goal. Ball's loose in the box. Honan steps in, but uh, nothing there. There's a blast by uh, Bouvier from about 20 yards out that goes uh, well over the net. So uh, Cougars with a big scare there, trying to, uh, with a loose ball in the box, not nobody able to get any real good scoring opportunities on it, but the uh, Chiefs had uh, the defense packed in there pretty good. 
This one hops over the head. But Napper can't handle that rebound and it goes out of bounds. There's a ball that's sent into the corner of the box. Matata is there. She's working against Drolet. Again, Bouvier turns one in. Roush and Honan work a little one-two player action down there and the ball goes out of bounds. It'll be another throw in for the Cougars. Here's a nice throw that comes to the corner of the box. Matata is there but uh, gets kicked out by Drolet. Uh, sorry. It was uh, Johnson, I believe. Anyway, sorry. Doesn't really matter who it was. It was a nice defensive play. And once again, the Cougars maintaining the pressure down on the uh, Chiefs attacking end. There's a nice throw that goes by everyone, but that's going to be the first one to it. And uh, sends it, I think it was rolled over the end line before she got to it. And that'll be a goal kick. Nine minutes to play here in the first half. Marnes checks back into the contest for the Chiefs. It's a nice steal by Kristen Knapper down the left side and she goes down. So that'll be a uh, free kick for the Chiefs. Gillespie will take this kick. It's an offensive opportunity for the Chiefs. With Gillespie to service this ball to the 18. Nice play there by Bouvier. Comes out and pops one to the back line. It's knocked away by Leahy. Here's Bowman and Tucker battling for it. Tucker sends it up the line. Saved by the Valley and then knocked out of bounds. But no. No, you got that one wrong. <laughs> you get another choice? All right. I hate, I hate to uh, disagree with that one. I'm standing right here watching. <laughs> well, I think it was on the initial time. It didn't go out the first time. Yeah, no, it was close. No. Close only counts in horseshoes, right? Hand grenades. All right. Bouvier trying to launch one into the box. Gets blocked by uh, Napper and it goes out of bounds. So the Cougars will throw in. Here's Roush, Honan pushes one in for Roush, but nice defensive play there by the uh, Chiefs. And once again, the Cougars with a throw in. Bouvier pushes one forward. Gillespie and uh, gets her foot up kind of high. Ball comes off, and I think caught Honan in the uh, in the face, but she's gamer. Here's Matat. Matat's going to get a shot off, and Favreau will watch that go over the end line. So. All right, Favreau gets the ball started. Bouvier comes up, can't keep it in. Chiefs will throw in. That one uh, goes out of bounds. Actually never came in, so Cougars will throw in. Uh, Coach Latemplio sends uh, Emily Haywood in on that last whistle, and now is going to the bench with a couple more subs. Uh, number two, Rebecca Haywood and will be in for the first time. And number seven, Lindsay Harris will check into the contest and give some of the uh, cheap players a rest. Cartier turns it back. No white jerseys there. So 
Chiefs kind of all bunched up on one side of the field. Napper with an opportunity, but knocked out of bounds by McDonough. We had just over five minutes to play here in the first half. Been a uh, pretty evenly scored, uh, played half so far. Uh, Honan will send one to the back line. It's played there by Leahy. Lavalley sends one, it goes behind Honan. Honan and the uh, new entrant uh, Rebecca Haywood battle for it on the left side. Cougar throw in. And this one comes in for Matat. Matat. Battling for it. Just turned back around the other way. And that one gets turned back around. Honan is, or uh, sorry, Roush is the first one to it. Roush sends a nice ball up for Lavalley. Dummies that one, let it go by her. Takes it down the left side, looking for the cross. Gets it into the box, but it's uh, knocked out by many, but not too far out. And this one rolls back, but uh, um, Gillespie clears it out. Comes back, and this one's sent back. Latemplio pushes it back the uh, opposite way, and it's knocked out of bounds by Leahy for a uh, Cougar throw-in. With very few minutes left in the first half. And there's a foul against the uh, Cougars, so Chiefs will get a restart. That one goes off the foot of uh, Cartier, pushed down by Napper. McDonough is the first one to it. She turns it back around, but Latempio picks it up. Here's Haywood. She takes it down the right side. McDonough is there. Turns it back around, but Latempio picks it up, takes it to the end line, puts a cross out. It gets past. Uh, yo. Gets past Cartier, kind of caught her by surprise. Napper uh, sends it across the goal mouth, but no. Uh, no Chiefs there. And once again, they uh, put the pressure on. And this one is defended by uh, LeDuc. And here's Honan. She's just going to blast one downfield and let Matat chase it. we got an even three minutes left here in the first half. And uh, number eight, uh, Lena Minnie is the first one to it. Slow it down. Honan will throw it in, try to get it over the head of the defense. And let Matat run on it. But here's uh, many or uh, Menia once again sends it to the back line. It's defended there by uh, McDonough. And here's a ball that's pushed to the right side for Haywood. Cartier's there. Tucker touches it by. And it's kept in. That's coming up here. Oh, we almost got one in the press box. Cougars will throw. Goes over the head of the defense. Marnes is there. And it gets defended back. And Minia sends it back towards midfield. Cartier boots it down. And it's sent forward, but McDonough is there. And now here Haywood controls it, but uh, Bouvier's back. We got two minutes left here in the first half. Hebert sends one forward, and Matat and Honan get organized. Honan a little bit too far in front of her now. Makes a nice move here. Pushes it by one defender. Takes it past another. Looks like she's going to get across, but uh, it's going to go out of bounds. It's going to be another corner kick for the Cougars. So we're under two minutes to play here, and the Cougars with another offensive opportunity. As that will be their, I believe it's their fifth corner kick of this first half. So uh, let's see if they can't capitalize on uh, one of these set pieces here. So here comes the ball. This one hooks out towards the top of the box. Hebert heads it back in, hits the ground, and goes around. Uh, Minia gets the uh, shot. Here's Lavalley and Favreau racing for it. Favreau covers up nicely and turns around and uh, makes sure that that doesn't uh, cause any further damage. So the ball was sent wide, but uh, General Lavalley ran on it, but didn't get much much of an action on it. Favreau was there. Here's Haywood battling for it. Matat comes up and uh, Lavalley puts one into the center. Honan coming over from the uh, left side, makes a nice play there, sends it up for Lavalley. Lavalley has it go by her. And that's Leahy makes a nice defensive play here. Here's Haywood. Cartier steps up, sends it out of bounds, but it'll be a 
Chief throw in with uh, less than 30 seconds to play here in the first half. And that one gets sent up to the uh, right side. Na Napper with a nice play there. Boots one loose in the box. McDonough comes down and pushes her off the box. And we're going to have a PK here. 13 seconds to go here in the first half. Kayla Napper made a nice move to uh, push that ball loose. And uh, Michaela McDonough with a foot race uh, against Kayla Napper uh, came shoulder to shoulder, but uh, referee uh, Kowalski uh, saw it a little differently and has awarded the Chiefs with a uh, penalty kick. So uh, credit Kayla Napper with a nice play there to uh, spring that ball loose and force the, uh, the Cougar defenders to, uh, to react in a positive way. Here's the ball. Sent low into the left side. The right side of Paola just goes on the inside of the post and uh, Amy LaTemplio makes good on the PK with uh, 13 seconds left here in the first half. Chiefs go up by a one and nothing score. So the Cougars restart, send the ball back. And as we count down the uh, last 10 seconds of the first half, the uh, Chiefs will take a one to nothing lead into hometown, into hometown, into halftime here on Hometown Cable. Coming to you from the George Brendler Field in Shazy, New York in this Section 7 Class B semifinal. We'll see you after halftime. Okay, folks, we're back at it for the second half of action. Section 7, Class B semifinal matchup between the Cougars of Northeastern Clinton in their white home uniforms versus the Chiefs of Saranac Central in their away red uniforms. Chiefs scoring on a uh, penalty kick with 13 seconds to go in the first half, take a 1 0 lead here into the uh, second half. And we'll see what happens in the uh, next 40 minutes. Is the uh, again the, uh, the score sheet keeps things pretty even. Cougars with the uh, definite uh, edge in possession time, but uh, are find themselves behind on the uh, the most important part of it. Here's a send ball sent forward for uh, Honan, who has moved into uh, the center position, and uh, she's about triple teamed up there, and uh, the ball gets taken away from her. Leduc has it, and she's going to send it forward. Here's Roush. Roush has an opportunity. Honan gets it, pushes it wide for Bouvier. Bouvier is going to put one into the box, headed out by Minia. Comes back in for uh, for the Chiefs, but uh, Gillespie pushes it back out. And the ball goes long. McDonough is going to be the first one to it. And she's going to turn and send the ball up the sideline, but it's going to go out of bounds. Bowman sends one long. McDonough is the first one to it. Jenks is on her. McDonough turns the ball back around, sends it up to uh, midfield. Bowman gets a foot on it, pushes it in the middle. The Templio switches field, sends it wide for Napper. Napper at the top of the box. He's going to take a shot. It's going to go all right to uh, Paola. Paola had it played well and uh, harnesses that one with uh, relative ease. But uh, nice ball movement there by the Chiefs to uh, switch fields and get it to uh, an open midfielder and uh, Kristen Napper got a shot on goal. Now here's Minia. Minia is going to push one wide for Bowman. Bowman and Tucker will battle for it. Tucker is the first one there. And Bowman wins that battle, sends it out to the top of the box. Here's LaTemplio but nice play by Roush. And the ball bounces back. It's loose in the box. And we're going to have a foul on that play. So the Cougars will get a free kick. And McDonough sends us up, skips by Matat, who's all the way up the uh, sideline, and there'll be a chief throw in. Tucker can't keep it in. 
So another chief throw in. And this time the Cougars get the ball. Chiefs with a throw in. Uh, that whistle blows, so uh, once again, the Cougars will get a free kick. <laughs> yeah, that one won't stay in, so. All the play going on in the opposite side of the field so far. And another whistle on the play. So Chiefs will get the uh, free kick this time. we got four minutes gone already here in the first half. And that one bounces up and catches somebody somewhere. And what's that? Scalping them. Second half. First half, second half. They all kind of blend in after a while. Hard to keep track. Yeah, sometimes when there's only two of them, it could be harder to keep track. All right. Here's Matat, pushes one wide. Takes it down the left side. Pushes it into the middle. Honan is the first one to it. Set a uh, player loose. Here's Matat, gonna get an opportunity, but that one gets defended pretty decent, and uh, Favreau comes away with the ball. Uh, the punt comes out towards midfield, hops over Jenks. Roush controls. Still has it. It's going to send it for uh, Lavalley, but it gets broken off, broken up there by Marnes. Pa uh, uh, Bouvier has a uh, little problem with it, but saved by Tucker. Tucker has it. Chips one forward for Honan. Honan has it get by her, but uh, uh, many is there. Honan gets the ball back, lays it off for Bouvier and or Lavalley. Lavalley scoops it past Marnes. Barnes makes a nice defensive play there to take the ball off of her foot. Lavalley overruns it, and now it's sent up to the uh, Jenks. Jenks can't control, and it'll be a Cougar throw in. Here's a uh, mistake by the Chiefs, but uh, Latemplio kicks that one out of bounds. What? And Gillespie is the first one to this throw in. Roush with a good hustle move there. Hebert, she sends it wide. Here's Matat, but she's in an offside position, so we'll, uh, Chiefs will have uh, a restart now. 33 and a half minutes to go here in the second half. Here's McDonough pushes one, but uh, not able to clear. LeDuc cuts that one off before Jenks can get to it. And this one comes out of bounds, and it's gonna be, it's gonna be another throw in for the Chiefs. Kelly Drolette will come back into the uh, contest on the back line for the Chiefs. There's a ball that's sent into the box. One hops back to Paola and she scoops it up before Jenks can get there. And this one comes back. Napper has it. Nice play by Bouvier to run through that one. Pushes one ball down the right side, but Gillespie's there and that's gonna go out. Be another throw in for the Cougars.
Here's Roush with a nice move. Sends it up for Honan. Goes over the head of Honan. And uh, Matat makes a nice move there. She's knocked down by uh, Gillespie. Still has the ball. Takes it into the corner. Puts a shot on net. But Favreau comes up and scoops it up before Honan can get there. Good individual effort there by Katie Matat to uh, get that shot on goal. Made of, uh, a little more productive and she uh, hooked that back out around the six with uh, Honan uh, cruising in there but uh, she decided to put it on net and uh, did a pretty good job of that. Roush once again pushes one down the uh, left side. Looks like uh, Minnie is going to be the first one to it as it goes out of bounds but it will be a uh, chief throw in deep in the attacking zone. And Matak gets shoved off of that one. So we're going to have a uh, free kick opportunity here for the Cougars. Roush is going to send this one into the box. And uh, Gillespie shoves Honan out of the uh, position and goes over the end line. It'll be a goal kick. Tucker has the ball bounce in front of her, and she'll watch it go out of bounds. Right, it's going to be a, uh, after much debate, Cougar throw in. Matat kind of waits on it, and uh, Marnes is able to, uh, or Minnie is able to come up and make the play. Here's Leduc, gets a little bit too far in front of her, but she stays with it. Once again, stays with the play. Here's Matat, she's got Lavalley wide. Lavalley waits on this one, has the ability to uh, try to get it across, and uh, Drolette knocks it out of bounds, so it's going to be uh, another corner kick for the uh, Cougars, who have a uh, six to three edge in these in corner kick attempts. And uh, Roush will get this one set up and see if they can't uh, make something happen on one of these opportunities. Here's a nice ball, it's hooked out, bounces all the way through the box and it's cleared out by Bowman. So a nice uh, delivery there by Molly Roush to get that one uh, into the middle of the box, uh, inside the six yard line, but uh, ton of white jerseys there nobody able to get a foot or a body or anything on it so a wasted opportunity once again for the by the Cougars and the ball skips back and McDonough pushes it forward here's Honan trying to come up with a loose ball but it's defended there nicely Hebert and Latemplio makes a nice play but here's Matat tries to get by one player does but many is there to sweep it forward Here's Napper sends one for Jenks. Jenks pushes it wide for Napper. Napper with a lot of space on this side. Pushes it down the uh, left side. Many is going to, or uh, Jenks is going to be the first one to it. She's got possession in the box, sends it high, and uh, whiffed by Hebert comes back, and Minnie is going to get a shot, but uh, that's going to go off the side of her foot. Bowman corrals it over on the uh, right side. She pushes it back and it goes out of bounds will be a Cougar throw in Bowman sends it into the middle here's Latemplio she leaves it off for Minia Minia and Hebert battle for it and it's going to be a cheap throw in Chiefs throw the ball in, scoots by everybody. McDonough is the first one to it. 
pushes it up for Tucker. Tucker gets beat on that ball, and this one skips by uh, McDonough, but Leduc is there to cover up. Ponin has it. And she's going to send it for Lavallee, who's wide open. Pushes it to the center, but Drolette makes a nice play to get it away from her. Leduc has it skip over her foot. Here's Jenks. One person to beat, but can't. And McDonough makes a nice defensive play there. Napper and uh, Cartier battle for it. Cartier is going to push it forward. Honan, first to it, beats Gillespie. Has it at midfield. He's got Matat running with her. Here comes Lavallee up the left side. That looked like a handball to me. Not called. Sent over. Lavallee has possession. Here's Napper coming chasing back, but uh, this one goes in the center. Gillespie makes a nice defensive play there. The Duke steps, steps up from her de defensive player, and here comes Jenks to uh, steal it from her. And the action is heating up here with 26-20 uh, to go here in the second half. And this one finally gets sent back the other way. McDonough has it. Heads it wide for Cartier. Cartier and Napper battle for it. <coughs> Excuse me. And it goes out of bounds. It'll be a Chiefs throw in. Intensity has picked up here in the last couple minutes, Calvin. I don't know if it's just me or... Uh, just you. Just me, okay. Pretty much the same as it's been all game? Yeah. Uh, I see. All right. Here's an opportunity once again for the Chiefs. Here's Napper with lots of space over in the top of the box. He's going to chip one in the middle. That's going to hit the ground. Paola and, uh, and uh, Jenks battle for it. There's a shot by uh, number seven, uh, Lindsey Harris, comes coming in on that... Uh, on that ball, it rolls out to a midfielder. That's uh, a dream come true, a ball rolling out, and uh, an opportunity to put that back on frame, but it was a little bit too high and wide, and uh, the Chiefs uh, let a scoring opportunity get by there. Paola had a hard time scooping that one up, but they uh, had some opportunity in the box, but rolled back out, and uh, Harris was uh, able to get a foot on it. Here's a ball that's sent long for Honan. Honan has it. She's got Gillespie on her. Takes it around, Gillespie pushes it into the center. She's triple team there. And Honan still has possession. Tries to get it past uh, uh, number eight is uh, Menia, but uh, this time the uh, Chiefs break it up. Here's McDonough and Jenks working it. Jenks with the ball, tries to push it back McDonough. And McDonough makes a nice play there. Lavallee steps up, gets the ball, but it's knocked away by Drolette. Over for Matat. Matat has it at midfield, sends it wide for Tucker. Tucker pushes it back for Matat, but that one goes a little bit long, and it's uh, it's cleared away by the Chiefs' defense. And that one goes out of bounds. Another uh, another Chief throw it. Okay, here's uh, LaTemplio, and she's loose in the center, gives it for Napper. Napper gets the ball touched off her foot, but the Chiefs still have possession. Here's Napper once again, and that ball's going to come into the box, played out by uh, uh, Bouvier. Here's Matat, Matat has it, she's working against Leahy, Matat down the left side. Steers it back towards the center, tries to get it in for Honan, but that one's broken up by Gillespie, and she pushes it out to an open wing. This is uh, Cerise Dubois, who's in the contest now for the Cougars, and she tries to send it up the right side, but it gets, uh, gets knocked out of bounds. Bouvier puts it in the middle. Roush is the first one to it. She sends a ball long, and that one will roll over the end line, and that'll be a goal kick. We've got uh, just under 23 minutes to play here in this second half. Chiefs holding on to that one to nothing lead on the penalty kick by Amy LaTemplio with 13 to seconds, to 13 seconds to go in the first half. This one comes all the way back from McDonough who turns it and sends it back forward. Here's Roush who's, or uh, Honan who's moved over to the uh, left side now. 
and uh, she corrals one over on that far on that far left side. Service was went into the box. Matat has it there. Makes a nice move to get by uh, one player. The ball's loose in the box, and it's cleared out by uh, by Minia, but it's going to result in a uh, corner kick once again for the Cougars. So nice ball there by uh, Mallory Honan to set up uh, Katie Matat at the corner of the six-yard line, but uh, Matat got doubled up there pretty quickly and uh, got a shot off, but it was blocked out of bounds by Lena Minia, and uh, once again, it'll be a corner kick for the, uh, for the Cougars. Roush into the box, headed away by Gillespie. Roush gets it back, and she makes one move there, takes it into the box, sends it in, but uh, the Chiefs' defense is uh, coming up strong here. They're uh, playing with a purpose. And here's Matat. She finds herself at the top of the box, gets a shot off, but Favreau has it covered up pretty good. So nice work there by Tiana LaDuc to come up and uh, play a nice hustle play there to push that ball forward. And Matat got herself an opportunity at uh, about 10 yards or 15 yards out and put a shot on goal, but Jamie Favreau had it played pretty well. Here come the Chiefs the other way. Here's Napper with an opportunity. That one goes off the post. Catches uh, Paola on the short side and uh, rattles it off the post and it goes out of bounds for a goal kick. So off the transition, the uh, Chiefs come down the other way and get another decent scoring opportunity with uh, Kayla Napper taking a pretty hard shot from a tough angle and uh, just got the uh, just got the post. Chiefs definitely uh, playing with a purpose here this evening, and uh, they got that one goal lead under their belts. They're uh, they're not letting up. They get their uh, they get their foot on the gas pedal, and they're pushing it. All right. There's Honan once again. She's turning. Rocket one up towards midfield. Goes over the head of the uh, defender. Dubal just kind of kicks it backwards and Favreau comes off her line to scoop that one up. We needed to have just a little bit more control of that ball. She uh, had an opportunity there to maybe settle it and uh, make something else happen. Yeah, this one's punted out towards midfield. Hebert has it go by her. Also goes by uh, Cartier and Gillespie and Honan collide but the ball goes out of bounds and Gillespie will just knock it out of touch so Cougar throw in Honan and that one goes out as well another throw in here's Dubois again she gives it for uh, Honan Onan, services went into the box. Matat and Leahy, or uh, Marnes battle for it. Matat looking to turn. Gets a shot off, but uh, a little high and wide. So nice work by Katie Matat there to beat uh, Miranda Marnes and get herself turned around. That made it just needed a little, little bit more of a swivel on her body to get uh, get back around on that one. But uh, definitely good work between the combination of Mallory Honan and Katie Matat. Working pretty hard up front to uh, create scoring opportunities for the Cougars. Bouvier tries to send it forward. It's defended there by uh, by Johnston. And here's the dangerous Latemplio, but that one gets knocked away. And that one's going to go out of bounds. Another Cougar throw in. Cougars once again winning the uh, throw in battle anyway. Go through it! Here's Matat. Gets pushed off the ball by Marnes. This one goes over the head of LeDuc. McDonough with a nice play there. Sends it for uh, Matat. Matat has Honan. 
Onan at the top of the box. Onan's going to take a shot that Favreau's going to have no problem with. 17-15 to play here in the second half. Cougars need to uh, get themselves a little sense of urgency because 17 minutes away from uh, ending their season. They can't come up with uh, some sort of offensive uh, organization. These shots from the top of the box aren't going to beat uh, Jamie Favreau. She's, uh, she's been playing uh, hot all second half of the season, uh, especially here in the playoffs. So. Sent into the middle. Uh, Cougars are going to get called for the foul on that one. Got an even 16 minutes to play here in the second half. Hebert heads this one back the other way. And Bouvier pops one to the back line. It's misplayed by uh, Gillespie. Here's Matat. Matat and Marnes. Matat gets shoved off the ball and it gets sent back in. There's a uh, collision and no whistle there. This one goes wide to Leduc. Here's uh, Jenks on the left side. Leduc, big strong play there, but Jenks comes back with it. Here's McDonough, makes a nice play. And she can't keep it in, so it's gonna be a uh, Chiefs throw in. That's gonna come for Jenks. Jenks sends the ball in. Napper tries to switch fields, kinda of goes backwards a little bit. Honan's gonna be the first one to get this. Honan's gonna send one into the center. And that's played there by uh, Minia, who has it go just a little bit too far forward. And it comes to La Templio. It's taken off her foot by Roush, but uh, back for La Templio. And she slides one up for Napper. Napper doesn't get a foot on it, and uh, Cartier is able to defend there. Pushes it forward for Honan. Here's Honan. She's going to slide one forward for Matat. It goes by Matat, and all the way back for Minia, who sends it up to the uh, front line. But McDonough's the first one to it, and ball comes back the other way. Napper sends one for Bowman, but that's cut off by Tucker. Tucker pushes it wide, and it'll be a uh, Chiefs throw in. So Brooke Leahy will check back into the contest and here's Bowman sends one into the box. McDonough is there to beat Jenks off of it. Here's La Templio once again. Jenks is working on it, but uh, Roush comes back and breaks this one up. Bowman sends one into the middle. Matat picks it up, sends a long ball for Dubois. Dubois is gonna give chase. Minnie is gonna be the first one to it. She's gonna turn it back around to the, uh, to the right side. Matat's going to get there first, and it's going to go out of bounds. It'll be a Cougar throw in. Dubois has it down the right side. And she makes a nice play in for Matat. Matat sends it back for Bouvier. Bouvier switches fields, finds Tucker over on that side, but Bowman makes a nice defensive play. Here's a ball that's sent in. Long ball is sent in by Honan, but uh, that one didn't have a whole lot of hang time on it, and uh, Fabro was able to uh, pick that one up without too much problem. So, we got under 13 minutes to play here in the second half. Hebert sends this ball forward. Honan gets pushed off of it. Here's Matat. Matat 
she gets pushed off the ball and it comes forward Cartier is there but Napper pushes it out of bounds it's a Cougar throw it Ball's out of bounds. Oh, we have a foul. Or it's out of bounds. I guess it's out. The Cougar throw in. Honan sends this one out. Here's uh, McDonough who's been pushed up to a midfield position. Comes back for Tucker. Tucker uh, can't handle it. Sends back in the middle. McDonough has it. She's going to send it for Bouvier. Bouvier didn't quite get her feet together on this one. And she sends it in the middle. It goes through everybody's legs. Here's Minia. Turns around. Sends it back out. Tucker pounds it back in. 11 and a half to go here in the second half. And Bowman gets a foot on it, but it goes out of bounds. Another Cougar throw in. Roush battling for it. And once again, it goes something out of bounds, I guess. And the Templio pounds one down the uh, right side. Cartier is going to be the first one to it. And she gets it by uh, many. It goes out, or uh, Jenks, it goes out of bounds, and the Cougars will have another throw in. They got ten and a half to go here in the second half. Here's Roush. She'll send one up. Gillespie sends it back the other way. Bowman gets a foot on it. This one, uh, Leduc is there. Sends it forward. Here's Matat and Roush, but they get a little bit uh, miscommunication there in the Chiefs' control. Once again, Bowman will uh, push it down the, uh, the field, and it's going to roll and 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 eventually go over the end line, and it's going to be a corner kick. So Chiefs with their, uh, actually their first corner kick here of the uh, second half. They get that ball, comes out to the top of the box. Dubois is the first one to it. She's going to try to get one up for Honan. Skips over Honan's foot. Gets by Gillespie as well, but Gillespie's going to be there first. And she's going to turn one and send it out off the sideline. Cougars will throw. Here's Matat. Has it go off the side of her foot. She and Tucker collide. Matat gets it for Honan. Honan going to push one in the middle. Goes over everybody's head. And there's a ball that's sent in. Here's McDonough. Gets a shot on goal, but goes right at Favreau. So, Michaela McDonough sent up to the uh, front line by Coach Supernaut to create a little bit of uh, uh, offense. I'm sorry. It was... Uh, to create a little bit of offense was uh, set up by Katie Matat. And uh, McDonough got the shot off, but... Uh, Kicked it right at uh, Favreau, and we already know that that's not going to go in. So. That one skips off the head of Jolette. Here's an opportunity once again. And that one gets knocked out of bounds by, uh, by Johnston. And the Cougars will throw. A little over eight minutes to go here. Here's McDonough once again. And she kind of stubs her toe on that one. Dubois has it, pushes it wide, and it goes out of bounds. Quick, quick, quickly! Oh, get up in there! One comes back for Jenks. Latemplio, she's going to pound one down the field. Cartier gives chase, and Amelia Jenks and. Um, Kayla Napper were breathing down her throat. Paola comes out and plays the ball. Jenks has it on the left side. She's going to try to service one into the box. Leduc makes the uh, defensive play. It's kicked back for Napper. 
Um, knocked away there by Bouvier, and the uh, Chiefs still possess. Roush comes back to uh, make a defensive play, sends it up for Duba. That's going to skip overhead. And the Cougars with possession momentarily. And now I'll get the throw in. So here's, here's McDonough. She's going to try to get across, and it deflected off the Chiefs. So another corner kick for the. Uh, for the Cougars, we got just under seven minutes to play. Roush sends the ball into the box, skips over everybody. Hebert with a shot, she sends it back in, but it's wide of the net. And then the Chiefs will get the uh, Goal kick. So once again, uh, these corner kicks that skip right through the box without anybody touching them. I don't know how they can have that many bodies in there and not get something on it. Anything, you know. Eyelash or ponytail or front of your foot, the back of your foot, your knee, your leg, your shin, something. Once again, it's out of bounds. Cougars will throw. Chiefs have the uh, defense packed in there pretty good. Now we get the uh, gaggle of players pretty much covering that whole corner of the field where the ball is. Kind of looks like one of those uh, one of those uh, mites games, you know, <laughs> where everybody's following the ball. What's that? Magnet, Magnet ball. Yeah, exactly. So Jamie Favreau comes off her line there to scoop that one up before uh, anybody can get to it. Stay up, Katie! Stay up, Katie! And this one's hit long. Bouvier is going to give chase. And she turns it around. Still has possession of it. Sends that one up, but right to uh, Jolette. And Roush steals the ball. She's got it. Sends one long, comes in, skips over the head of, uh, of uh, the uh, defense. And Cougars with an opportunity there, but the ball is uh, cleared away by the Chiefs defense. And here, here's Tucker with it. She sends one down in. But, uh, uh, many is there to turn it back around the other way. Chiefs have been playing some outstanding defense here. Yeah, that one goes out of bounds before it can be sent forward. Here's Matat. And that call is going to go against the Chiefs. I'm sorry, against the Cougars. Uh, we're cranking down to about four minutes to go here in the second half. A little confusion or on the uh, on the call. But the top makes a nice save there, sends it over for Dubois. Dubois has it. McDonough takes it away from her, pushes it wide, and she's going to shut. Take a shot, hits the crossbar, bounces all the way back out. Matat on the rebound, that one goes up high, and Favreau makes a nice play there. So Michaela McDonough drills one from about uh, just out, just inside the 18 that uh, hits the crossbar and bounces back out. Katie Matat corrals the rebound and puts another high shot on goal that uh, Jamie Favreau jumps up and makes an outstanding save on. So that's uh, definitely the save of the game for that one. Going to save that one for the highlight reel. Cougars really pressuring here to uh, get the equalizer as they can. Uh, the end of their season is only three minutes away here. If they can't get something behind uh, Jamie Favreau, who's uh, hey, that one went right inside the scorer's box. Awesome. There's a nice ball that's knocked down by Mars. Here's Drolette working against Dubois. Ball goes out of bounds. Another Cougar throw in. So that was a uh, pretty exciting little turn there. The Cougars need to see what they can do about creating another offensive opportunity like that. Bouvier sends one into the middle, but it's kicked out. 
Here's Matat. She's going to send one wide for Honan. Honan has it on the left side. She's going to put one into the box. McDonough gets pushed off the ball. She has it. Gets a. She's going to get a shot off, but didn't have much mustard on it. With two defenders draped all over her, and uh, she gets the shot. But Favreau is equal to that one as well. So the uh, the offensive intensity of the uh, Cougars has certainly picked up here with uh, their season on the line. They uh, got two minutes to get it done. <coughs> Honan pushes this one by and can't really catch up to it and gets a foot on it, but it goes out of bounds and we got subs. The Duke sends it into the 18. It's headed into the uh, into the box. Favreau comes out, scoops it up, and she will take her time to uh, get this one back. Punts it out towards the sideline. Here's Jenks working against Bouvier. Here's Napper. It gets kicked out of bounds. So. What's the matter? Oh, 54 seconds. We're inside of a minute to play. Hebert hits, heads one forward. Here's McDonough. She settles it. She sends it for uh, Honan, but Honan has it skip off her foot, and Gillespie clears it out. Honan once again. She sends one long. Here's Dubois. She lets it hit the ground, but uh, gets her foot underneath of it underneath the ball and uh, sends it over the top of the crossbar which may very well have been the last gas for the uh, Cougars as that clock is coming down to 10 seconds and Favreau can just take her time getting this one started and the Chiefs are going to be on their way to the finals here in the uh, Section 7 Class B tournament where they will meet the uh, Hornets of uh, Plattsburgh High next Friday night here on this very same pitch. So both of the uh, lower seeds advance here in Section 7 Class B to uh, meet in the final next week. That will be the Chiefs of Saranac versus the Hornets of Plattsburgh High. And that ends a uh, uh, pretty spectacular, decent season for the, uh, for the Cougars here as they uh, will end their season on a uh, down note. And uh, I guess that's all we can say about the end of the game. So the Chiefs come away with a uh, one to nothing victory here at the George Brendler Field. And um, that's the way it was. We thank you for watching. Hometown Cable, television worth your support.